to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel so today i'm gonna go thrifting because i have nothing better to do and i'm bored i've just been thrifting a lot recently i'm trying to cut out fast fashion because obviously it's bad for the environment and it's unethical and I feel like you can just get so much cooler stuff at the thrift store anyways So I thought I would take you guys along with me today and see if I can find any cool stuff I have a little list written down in my journal of like everything I'm hoping to Someday thrift or find on depop or whatever. So um, It's right here. Also journal video that absolutely no one asked for will be coming soon So I wrote down Argyle because I feel like I've been seeing Argyle everywhere on Pinterest Interest, like the cute grandpa sweaters and sweater vests and all that kind of stuff we have baby tees overall just like y2k early 2000s looking stuff my friend summer's picking me up so she'll be here soon i'm gonna show you my thrifting outfit and then we're gonna go thrifting i don't know what this was but anyways okay so this is the thrifting fit um usually i like to dress kind of more comfortable when i'm thrifting but i decided to get dressed up today so um, I also put my hair up in a claw clip, but I have this scarf that I tied up as a little top and I got it from the thrift store. My jeans are from Princess Polly, but they're by the brand Fens. And then I just have some Burks because I didn't feel like wearing sneakers. So I have my canvas tote and I also have some really cute jewelry on from Ana Luisa that I will talk about later. Summer should be here any second now, so let's go thrifting. I'm back and I have so much cute stuff to show you but before I do that I really quickly just wanted to talk a little bit about Ana Luisa which is where all of the jewelry that I'm currently wearing is from all of Ana Luisa's jewelry is made sustainably using hundred percent recycled gold and silver which makes my heart so happy because that is something that is important to me. I've just been making a lot of changes in my life to be more sustainable. There's only one planet, there's no planet B. Another thing about Ana Luisa is they have very fair pricing, especially for the quality you're getting and sustainable jewelry because often sustainable products can be so much more expensive and bigger brands tend to mark up the price. So their prices range anywhere from like $49 to more high-end pieces. So there's something for everyone. But I've been getting more into jewelry lately so I just picked out some really basic simple pieces that can be paired with anything and then they also have some cooler designs as well if you're more into like statement pieces but personally I just like really simple jewelry so I usually just wear it like this kind of singular sometimes I'll layer my necklaces I'll show you guys everything up close as well thank you Anna Luisa for sending me all this jewelry I love all the jewelry I got and I know you guys will love them too so you can use my code Emma Claire 10 for 10% off Okay, so now I fixed the lighting kind of, um, but now I'm going to show you everything that I thrifted. So I think I'm going to start with these sweaters because I got a few sweaters even though it is 90 degrees almost every day. It's Florida. I got this grandpa sweater vest. I'm very excited about it. I've been wanting a sweater vest for a while because I've just been seeing them all over Pinterest and they look really good. This is unfortunately an extra large. It looked like it was small in the store when I was like looking at it compared to all the other sweater vests because all, all the other ones were just way too big for me. But this one seemed to look the smallest, except now that I'm looking at the tag, it says extra large. So I'm an extra small, this is an extra large. I don't know if it's gonna work out, but it is super cute. So maybe I can make the oversized sweater vest look work for me. I don't know. Then I got another Argyle sweater. Um, this one's actually like a really like thin soft material so hopefully it won't be too hot 
I mean, it's still really hot outside and it's a sweater, so I don't know, but I'll suffer. It's pretty oversized, but I like sweaters to be oversized. This sweater best though, I don't know. I liked the kind of muted blue and it has navy blue, gray, and sort of like an army green um, argyle print on it, so I got another sweater and it's argyle. Are you surprised? This one is just like tan beige. Um, and it has white and blue diamonds argyle on it and i love it again with like a tennis skirt underneath it's gonna look so cute i got this vintage florida state crew neck sweatshirt and it is really big i thought this like vintage embroidered design was really cool in its current size this is longer than a normal dress i would wear so i think i'm gonna cut it um to a length that it's still like oversized because I still want it to be like an oversized comfy sweatshirt and then I'm probably gonna add some elastic around it I'm like actually really happy I found this though because like I thought the graphic was just so cool and I'm going to Florida State so it's perfect everything else in this haul is very Y2K early 2000s looking and I'm not mad about it I love it pro tip Go to the kids section if you're looking for Y2K clothes just filled with all those kinds of girly lacy camis and little t-shirts and they have like the cutest little graphics. You can just find such cute stuff in the kids section. I think in the try on part, I'll, all of them will already probably be cropped. I am really short so I will have to crop these myself. I'll show you the two little baby tees I got because they're so cute. I got this Calvin Klein baby tee. It's just black and it has the Calvin Klein logo on it and it is kind of like a little bit shiny too which is really cool. That's just such a big 2000s trend like logos all over shirts and stuff like that. It would just look really good with a basic pair of jeans, um, maybe like a little mini skirt. I don't know yet but I love it. Summer was really doubting me on this one. I was even kind of doubting myself on this one because it looks really small. But it was so cute so I couldn't just like not get it. It's this. It is for a six year old. And it just says fresh picked cherries on it. It's very childish but I don't care. The graphic is adorable and I think it would just look so cute cropped. The sleeves are really like small, but luckily they're pretty stretchy so I could get my arms through them. This is the definition of Y2K, I think. Like, we have the lace trim, we have rhinestones, and it's hot pink. I did not notice in the store, but it's not really stretchy here. So I'm definitely very constricted in this. I don't even know if it looks good because it is a little tight at the arms, but... I don't know, let me know what you guys think. I think I can get away with it. I think it looks fine. It is a little bit tight, but I still love it. So I found so many like bedazzled rhinestone tops. So it just has the tiniest little butterfly bedazzled on it. It's white. It does actually have a few stains, but they're not really too noticeable. And I'll probably just like use a tied to go stick, hopefully, but even if they don't come out like you really can't notice that much so i think it's fine i feel like i definitely don't even need to explain these that in depth because you guys can see them but i don't know what else to say so yeah then i got this white tank top again kids section rhinestones everywhere it has rhinestones at the bottom too um definitely gonna crop it simple but glamorous why is this like so weird looking? Sorry. You guys are probably gonna laugh at me or think I'm really weird for buying this, but I bought it. It is a terry cloth hot pink tie-dye mini skirt. I think I just bought it because it makes me very nostalgic of my childhood because this is definitely something I would wear or wanted to wear. Um, I don't know, I like kind of love it. This is very Legally Blonde, Sharpay Evans. That's the vibes I'm getting from it. I don't know if I'm courageous enough to wear this in public, but like look at it and then it has this like little logo of the terry cloth. Like I miss when they made stuff out of this material. This is the last thing I got and probably my favorite thing I got. It is this little tie up halter top. That was another thing that I wanted to find halter tops this cute little ruching detail some frills it's light pink it has the halter tie up neck so cute um yeah that is everything that i got thrifting today 
I'm pretty proud of myself. I think I got some really cute stuff, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give this a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos from me and follow my socials if you want. Again, you can use the code EmmaClaire10 for 10% off on AnnaLuisa.com. I will see you guys next time. Bye!